In this uh, recording, we will go over the batch reactor analysis, uh, starting from the general balance equation. Our general balance equation uh, is reflected. It is DNA over DT, which is equal to FA in minus FA out plus RA times V. Again, we are working, uh, uh, we, are, we are generating our solutions for a generic uh, hypothetical first order reaction of A going to products and uh, it is uh, reaction rate is given by minus RA is equal to K times C sub A. Now the batch reactor is a perfectly mixed for our analysis in this problem is concerned. It's a perfectly mixed, it's a well mixed reactor but there is no feed, there is no outlet. And as a result, our general balance equation loses these two terms. This becomes zero for the batch reactor, there is no inlet. This becomes zero for a batch reactor, there is no outlet. So we charge our reactants and we let the system evolve to the final product and we take out our products. And uh, given that, our uh, balance equation simplifies DNA over DT to be equal to RA times V. And uh, again, this reactor has a constant volume process because of the time evolution of the reaction density doesn't change. Uh, remember that there are certain reactions that densities can dramatically change such as polyurethane synthesis but this is not such kind of a reaction. Uh, the density doesn't change, volume doesn't change and since volume doesn't change uh, our definition of Na which is equal to V times CA simplifies to V times DNA over DT to be equal to RA times V. V is cancel. I'm sorry, CA. This is this is supposed to be CA D C A over DT. Okay? And we substitute RA, DCA over DT. We substitute for R sub A, which is a minus K times CA and integration, as we have done for a more complex system in the previous video. with an integration constant phi and with uh, an initial condition at time t is equal to zero, ca is equal to, this time ca zero, zero time concentration, All right? And this integration yields ln of ca, ln of ca, that is equal to minus k times t plus integration constant at time t is equal to 0, ca is equal to ca0. This phi becomes ln ca0. So on this side it is positive. If it is going to come here it is going to be negative. We will do the ln algebra, so it will be ln CA over CA0 to be equal to minus K times T or CA is equal to CA0 E to the minus K times T. 
there's a time evolution of CA. There's a time evolution of CA. This is this is the design equation for a batch reactor. The cleaned up version is here, dCA over dT is equal to R sub A and this is its solution for a first-order reaction. 